Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana performing well today, following Bitcoin a little bit to the upside. Um, we're going to talk about here the structure. First of all, zoomed out for our chart for everybody who's new on the channel. Um, I know a lot of you know this structure already, but um, I typically only refer to it once a day um, because sometimes we have more than one Solana video depending on what's going on. Um, but uh, the idea is still, you know, that a wave two bottomed here in September. So you see the entire structure of these September lows. Um, surely there will be different uh, possibilities to label this structure to the upside, but that's not so important. Um, important is to understand that the third wave has certainly achieved ideal targets, reached ideal targets. It's actually a little bit extended. Um, a fourth wave is therefore due. Support is currently between $47 and $79. And then a fifth wave up would still be the expectation. So I'm watching for five waves to the upside overall. It is a bullish scenario. The only question is, um, do we are we are we already in the fourth wave, or are we um, still in the third? As you may remember from previous updates, or okay, if you if you're new, you won't. But um, my message has been quite consistent, and my approach has been that as long as we hold micro support levels. I'm watching for another extension. So I offered you a support area, trend reversal area, in which the price can use the relevant Fibonacci levels that are laid out on the chart to form a reversal. And um, from this small correction that we have seen that started uh, around the 26th of December and form one more high. So basically that this third wave, that was the expectation, gives us one more high before the fourth wave starts. And then, you know, we can carry on. Essentially, the, there is a short-term bullish, short-term bearish scenario. Short-term bullish indicates one more high in wave three, at least. Then wave four, then wave five. In the short-term bearish one, wave three topped already. There's a very clear level that distinguishes between the two that you can use for your trading plan. That's it, okay? And I tell you my leaning as well, which is one more high. So now we zoom in and take a look. By the way, someone asked me if I believe that if the price goes higher, reaches those higher targets for that extended third wave around possibly $147, if the price will then retrace down to $47.59. Um, not necessarily. This is just support, okay? This is not yet a target. Um, as we get more price data, we can define targets, extension targets, but also this support box is just a standard support zone for a wave four. Uh, it has to move up with the price. So if the price makes a new high, it would have to be adjusted because these retracements are calculated based on percentages of the previous move. So as you can see, if the price climbs higher, you know, um, depending on how high it goes, the retracement levels go up as well. Yeah, it's just support that tells us, okay, let's say below $47, a wave four is not a reasonable expectation anymore. It is just too deep for a wave four. Yeah, that, that retracement is too strong. Now let's go to the one hour chart. Um, and here we are dealing with, let me tidy that up a little bit. So here you can see, here you can see the short-term bearish scenario in which wave three topped on the 26th, 25th of December. And we're actually now coming down here, possibly, you know, in a corrective move. And then this might only be an A wave, you know, we might do a B wave and then come down and see. But it takes a break below $89.80 to confirm that. Yeah. Um, so that's the level that I talked about that distinguishes between the two. At the moment, it looks quite good for trend continuation higher in the white structure. So this box already, and again, it's up to you to use them or how to use them, but it already generated a profitable trade. So even if the price drops back into the support area, which it could do in this WXY structure, I added that as another possible pathway um, you know, uh, regardless of if it's the white or the yellow count, but this could easily be because we have three waves down, we have three waves up, it could result into another three wave move down. So of course it can dip back into support, but the, the you know, the main point is if you, let's say you, you use the strategy that I often suggest, and I'm not telling you what to do, I just say that this is how it can be done. This is in my opinion, the most intelligent way of how to use Elliott wave. Basically you've got your position, you scale in, small position up here, larger, 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 larger. Okay, it never comes down that much. You never get a full position, but you don't need one. You don't want one necessarily. Um, 
So you basically fill in, I don't know, 40% of your position or something. Then the price moves up. Yeah? You, the main, you will have a fairly good reward to risk ratio because most of your position is down here at the 38.2 retracement where the price turned around. That means, I don't know, you know, let's just measure it from somewhere down here. Um, reward to risk, or let's say percentages, price moved up like 16% from maybe your average price. So that makes sense then to even, depending on how you trade this, to maybe move up the stop loss to break even, take some partial profits, um, whatever, you know, um, or not do anything. But then obviously when you get stopped out, you might be stopped out, you know. Yeah, you can get stopped out, but if you raise your stop to break even, you don't care. And if you take some partial profits, I mean, a 16% increase is pretty nice in a short period of time. Because um, that's, you know, nobody's got the crystal ball, but we can manage this uncertainty with good strategies. So that's what these pullback areas are for. You can integrate them into your own trading plan. And even if the assumption in the end doesn't play out or it takes the scenic route and does this and then this, um, we, we are covered. Um, again, therefore, the support level remains the same, $89.80 against that level. One more high is, um, I'm, I'm in favor of one more high in wave five. Um, now, the question is now, do we go up more directly? One, two, three, four, five, or is this just this WXY? And the way four will be reset a little lower. That's just the noise, really, against that nine eighty nine dollar eighty level, right? A lot of people aren't interested in this, um, but I can give you micro micro support, nano support. So if the if the direct pathway higher is already unfolding, then the micro support is at one hundred eight. Ideally, we don't want it to break below one hundred eight, or it's likely going going to fall back into the support area anyway. Well, it would trigger that anyway then, but. Um, what I mean is it will likely then make another low in the support area, possibly hitting 97, 93 or $89.80. Bottom line is against $89.80, we can still focus on higher. That is the main support I would use. Short term support is 108. A sustained break below that will likely send it lower into the orange box. And in terms of upside targets, they remain unchanged for now, 134, 135 and $147 are the next upside targets once the um, 25th of December high is broken. That's my update about Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.